Hey guys, this is Jerry, back with the bow tie again for the third time. This will be a permanent wardrobe thing. But anyways, so this is a response slash a critique of the Penn State sociology, almost at Society Sociology 119 um, lecture clip about keeping your um, identity or whatever. What do you see, what do you see when you see when you see these these four? What do what do you all see? American. They look American. Yeah. What is it about them though that looks American? Like how they dress, I guess. How about how they stand? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah? What did tank you say? Tops. Like you rarely see Asian girls wearing tank tops and just go out. <laughs> that's pretty American. So you wouldn't see that. Yeah. So the two girls I can see immediately they're Americans, but the two boys I can't. Before I go on, let's just acknowledge that that girl has really big racks. So let's just talk about that now so the comments can actually be discussion instead of just everyone talking about a rack. I wanted to talk about the shoulder, like revealing your arm thing, because I have a story from China. If you've watched my channel before, I've talked about this before, but I was laughing so hard I had to tell the story again for those of you who haven't heard that story. Last year when I was in China um, on a business trip back when I worked for a Chinese company, I went to this Halloween party where there's a bunch of Chinese girls with me and one of the girls, I guess she found out that in America, you know, in Halloween, you don't just dress up. It's kind of your permission to dress up kind of sexual. So you're like in a costume, but also kind of sexual. So like she dressed up as a cat and she was like so excited. She was telling me, she was like, oh my God, I get to, I get to like show a little skin. I'm thinking to myself, oh, cool, she's, she's a pretty girl, right? So she's going to show some skin. That's awesome. I'm so excited to see what she dresses herself up as. And she's a cat, like, you know, she's got the whiskers and everything. She's got the ears. And I'm looking at her dress. Like, she's a black cat, right? So she's got, I forgot if she wore a skirt or pants, but, like, so there was no legs showing. I'm like, so where's she showing skin? And then she didn't show a belly button, so, like, there was nothing. And then I was... Oh, she had some sleeves, but she showed a little bit of her shoulder. <laughs> and that was her definition of dressing sexual or showing a little skin. Is showing a little bit of her shoulder. <laughs> I was cracking up. I'm like, man, it's so conservative, but I love it here. At least she showed a little shoulder. She felt like that was going really, really taboo against Chinese culture. Imagine these Chinese or whatever country these Asian girls are from. And they come to America, they see people who look like them, but, you know, the people don't really look like them that much because, you know, the body shape's a little different because of the American diet and the American exercise regimen or lack of exercise regimen. And it, all the girls are, like, showing their their entire arm, not just their shoulders, their entire arm, and then they're showing their belly button to some of them, you know, show their cleavage and everything. Oh, my God, it's the end of the world. America, man, what are you doing? I just wanted to tell that story because some... Um, I just still can't believe it. That girl was so excited. She's like, oh my god, Halloween. One time of the year, I'm not going to get in trouble for being a little sexual. She shows a little shoulder. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> so, yeah, it's, I'm not saying everyone in China's like this, right? When I was in Beijing last year, I saw girls who were just like, they were like pretty slutty, like every country. But just because you see exceptions doesn't mean on average it's like that, right? On average, Chinese women tend to be more conservative than, um, let's say, American women. Or Western women in general. Wow, the slutty Chinese women are pretty slutty, man. If you guys want to see more critiques, I mean, I've been watching the series, really enjoying it. Some of you have seen my comments. I appreciate you guys writing back to me. Um, it's cool to see some of my viewers watch this, too. But if you guys want more, I can definitely do more. I'm sure there's funny stories I can relate or I can be more serious and try to be a scholar or whatever. But um, whatever you guys want, man. So enjoy the lecture and come back tomorrow. Maybe I'm going to make another response. Thank you.